Okay, beauties, it's time again. So, um, you guys will need a roll and a block, as always, for your your um Monday Monday Forest Yoga class. Um, and as always, we're gonna be doing a mixture of different things. If you can be near a wall, that'd be really great. And um, if not, no worries, we'll work it out. Come into a seated position. So you can either kneel or cross leg, depends what works. And then let your hands just rest on your lap as you take five of your most deepest quality breaths in. And whilst you're breathing, just use these first few breaths to get, um, to just get in the space that you're in. And then once you've took those initial few breaths, bring your hands onto your upper rib cage and take another few breaths in, feeling your ribs expand sideways. Whilst you're feeling your ribs move sideways, feel also for your breath moving through the back of your body. And once you've done those few breaths, release your hands. Our intent today is to focus on one thing per pause. The reason why is, for me personally, in the last few weeks, I've felt very disconnected from my body. And I'm in, you know, that tendency very much so at the moment to overload and overwhelm. What I want tonight's practice to be about is really simplifying the sensations, the sequence, you know, anything else we tend to overcomplicate. Open your eyes, come off your block, and bring your feet into Baddha Soles of your feet together. Heels are about 18 inches away from your groin. Unlocking the hips, stage one, two, and three. Take a hold of your left thigh, lift your left butt cheek off the floor. As you inhale, use your hands to move your left thigh one away from your hip joint. And then exhale, place your hip down and put your left hand on your left thigh. Right arm comes out to the right, maybe about 18 inches. Inhale, lift your chest up, away from your navel. As you exhale, side bend to your right, the same time pushing your left thigh bone away. Focus in this stage on breathing your breath in between your left thigh bone and your left hip joint.
Stage two of unlocking the hips. Take your chest towards your right knee. Keep your left hand where it is and continue easing your left thigh bone away from your left hip joint. What I would like you guys to focus on in this part is moving your breath into the lower left side of your back. Stage three, taking both hands outside of your right leg. Inhale, lift your chest a little. As you exhale, lower your chest down towards the mat. So again, this time the focus being the breath in between your, your shoulder blades. It's more up into your mid to upper back region. And lifting your right butt cheek up as you exhale. So again, hands come to your right thigh as you inhale. Ease your right thigh bone away from your right hip. Right hand on your right thigh, left hand to your left. So inhale to lift up through your chest again. And then as you exhale, ease over to, to your left. So the same sequence of, of feeling one thing, the focus here being the space in between your left hip joint and your left thigh bone. And if breathing in there doesn't make any sense, just imagining your breath going there is enough right now. Second stage, taking your chest down towards your knee, so chest to left knee. Right hand stays on your right thigh, and again, feeling more for the space you're creating around the lower right side of your back. Stage three, take both hands outside of your left thigh as you inhale to lift up through your chest. And then lowering your chest down as you exhale. So again, pressing your feet together. Feel the heels and the balls of your feet press. And again, washing your breath through the stickier parts of your upper back. Come all the way up, inhale. And then lay back for abs as you exhale. 
So remember with elbow to knee, if this hurts your back in any way, you can either pad your lower back with a blanket or you can work this version with your, with your feet down. Fingers interlaced at the base of your skull, head down, elbows point up, and then pick your feet up off the floor. Before we go anywhere, spread the, the feet like you're opening up through each individual foot bone and give your feet a little bit of a wiggle so your, your attention is actually in your feet, not your head. And then inhale, head and shoulders come up. Hold your breath and low back down. Exhale, elbows to your left knee, take your right leg forward 45 degrees off the floor. Exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, back to center, head stays up. Hold your breath, low back down. Exhale, elbows to your right knee, take your left leg forward, push through the ball of your left foot, belly draws in. Inhale back to centre, listen for the change, hold your breath, press low back into the earth, exhale elbows to your left knee, take your right leg straight up, belly draws in. With your right hand at the top of your right thigh, take a huge breath through side ribs. As you exhale, use your right hand to push your right thigh bone skyward, belly draws in. Inhale back to centre, head stays up. Hold your breath, low back down. Exhale, elbows to your right knee, left leg straight up, belly draws in. Put your left hand at the top of your left thigh. Take a huge breath in. As you exhale, use your left hand, guide your left thigh bone skyward. Traction in your lower back as you exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, back to centre, head stays up. Hold your breath, low back down. Exhale, elbows to left knee, right leg straight up, right hand, right thigh, and push as you exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, back to centre, head stays up. Hold your breath, low back down, exhale, elbows to right, left leg straight up, left hand, left thigh, push as you exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, back to centre, do two more rounds. Once you've done your two full rounds, inhale, head down, exhale, feet down. Take a full feeling breath into your belly. So you're noticing, hopefully, there's a little bit more awareness in that space. It's the best way to get present, doing abs, many, many abs. Take your roll. Put your roll on your pubic bone. A block is fine too, if that's all you've got. Legs straight up. Down level, knees can bend. Down level again, feet can be on the floor. Twisting abs with a roll. Inhale, head and shoulders come up. Hold your breath, squeeze the roll. Exhale, elbows to your left knee, belly draws in. Inhale, back to centre, head stays up. Hold your breath, squeeze the roll. Exhale, elbows to your right knee, belly draws in. Inhale, back to centre, head stays up. Hold your breath, squeeze the roll, squeeze sit bones. Exhale, elbows to your left knee, belly draws in. Inhale, back to centre, lift shoulders a little higher. 
Hold your breath, squeeze the roll, squeeze sit bones. Exhale, elbows to right knee, belly draws in. Inhale back to center, do two more rounds. Once you've done your two rounds, inhale, head down, exhale, your feet down. Take a full feeling breath in. You might want to open your mouth, take a full feeling breath out. Because you're at home, you can make different noises that would often feel awkward in class. <laughs> Keep your roll in between your thighs, set up for bridge with a roll. Arms are by your side, palms upward facing. Chin tuck, neck long. Chest wide. Inhale, squeeze the roll. Lift your pelvis up as you exhale. Then take your hands to the area just above your hip bone, either side of your torso. Moving into bridge with back traction. Take an inhale into your side ribs. Press through the heels of your feet as you exhale. Use your hands to, to move your rib bones down, your, your hip bones rather down. So essentially what we're doing here is creating space from the, the hip bones all the way up to collarbone. And that space that he's getting created offers us an opportunity to breathe into the spaces that have not been felt today. Stay in the pause, release your arms. Inhale, press through your heels, curl your tailbone a little. As you exhale, keep your butt engaged. Place your upper back, your mid back. Keep squeezing the roll. Place your lower back down. Roll over onto one side. Come onto your hands and knees for Turbo Duck. Set up like you would for Down Duck, so your middle finger faces forward, not your index. Inhale into side ribs. Bend your elbows so they're halfway between straight and completely bent and then let your neck relax. Keep your knees down for a moment. Take another big breath through side ribs. Keep pressing through your hands, this time elbows stay bent as you exhale, straighten your legs. Feel here as you inhale for pushing down through the mound of your thumb in between your first and second fingers and also your pinky. When you breathe out, feel your leg bones engage and your neck bones soften a little. B-series with two pause vignettes. 
Inhale, step your left foot forward into warrior two legs for warrior two with shoulder shrugs. Relax your arms by your side. Inhale into back ribs. Hold your breath, lift your shoulders right up to your ears. Keep them lifted, take them straight back, squeeze. And as you exhale, drag your shoulders down. Take a huge breath into upper back. As you exhale, squeeze your mid shoulder blades together. So strong squeeze and drag your shoulders down. Inhale into mid and upper back. You exhale, you can bend your elbows a little, squeeze the very bottom tips of your shoulder blades, strong squeeze, then drag your shoulders down. Arch your warrior two. Inhale, take your left arm over, bend left elbow. Stage one, right hand can rest on your left elbow or interlock your hands. Feel for the focus in this pose being about feeling for lengthening through your left arm bone. So the space you are experiencing feeling is around left armpit. Release. Step back to plank, lower on exhale. Cobra, inhale, heart forward, elbows lift. Down dog, exhale. Warrior two with shoulder shrugs, inhale, right foot forward. Relax your arms again by your side. Before we move into the arms, spread out through your feet, so get a sense of feeling the skin of your feet, plugging into the earth. As you inhale, move your breath through your upper back. Hold your breath, lift your shoulders right up to your ears, right up, take them straight back, squeeze, and then exhale, drag down. Inhale into mid back. As you exhale, squeeze mid shoulder blades together, so gain strong squeeze, drag your shoulders down. Move your breath through your mid and upper back. Exhale, squeeze the bottom tips of shoulder blades. So really strong squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, and then drag down. Arch your warrior two. Inhale, right arm up. So you've got two options. If when you interlock in option two, your rib cage pops out and your neck lurches forward, consider taking option one. Inhale into right armpit. As you exhale, guide your right arm bone skyward. So you're feeling again for an opening of space through the right side of your arm. 
your only job in this shape is to breathe into that space. For plank and lower as you exhale. You can modify if you need. Cobra, inhale, heart moves forward. Down dog, exhale. Extended warrior variation. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Come up into warrior two legs again. This time bring your left forearm to your left thigh. Right arm behind for a half bind. Let your left ear rest down towards left shoulder. But at the same time, use your left arm to lift your body up so you're not collapsing down onto your front thigh. And again, rolling open through upper right side of your chest. In this pose, focus on relaxing your jaw. Release for lunge, back knee down. Look into a high lunge, engage your right butt cheek, keep it engaged. As you exhale, lower your pelvis down. So how far your pelvis goes to the floor is totally personal. What I'm more interested in you guys feeling is a lifting up through your side rib cage. and a softening through your shoulders. Release, step back to plank. Lower exhale. Cobra, inhale, heart forward. Down dog, exhale. Extended warrior variation, inhale, right foot forward. Right forearm, right thigh, left arm behind. Let your right ear rest down towards right shoulder. Inhale, use your bottom arm to lift up. Rolling your chest skyward as you exhale, but again, let your neck go. Notice particularly the left side of your neck. Release, lunge, back knee down. Gain little engagement through your left butt cheek, keep it engaged, then come into the lunge. That way you know that your butt is working to support your lower back. Move your breath through your side ribs. As you press down through your front heel, lift your rib cage.
release, step back to plank, lower exhale, cobra, inhale, heart moves forward, down dog, exhale, Down dog on the wall with an option to up level with one leg up, five breaths each side. If down dog on the wall is not for you today, do down dog off the wall so you're just not walking your feet up the wall. Palms are about shoulder distance apart. Take an inhale into your side ribs. Heels are on the baseboard and as you exhale, knees lift. So for some of you, staying here is an option. That's a down level. More adventurous today, coming up into both feet on the wall. And if that's feeling pretty easy for you today, moving into the up level, one leg up, five breaths each side. Now those of you guys that are working with one leg up, we're not going into splits, so it's about reaching your heels straight up towards the ceiling. And use the heel of that leg to lift out of your lower back, so there's no compressing in your spine. Changing legs if you haven't already. And really feeling for those points of your hand again, just like we did earlier in Turbo Dog. But you want to feel for getting super light through your arms. Come down with control. <laughs> A little bit of grace. And then come into down dog. Triangle. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Feet will be about three feet apart, so you're not actually as wide as we often think in this pose. Heel to heel alignment. Bring your left hand onto your left leg. Right arm goes straight up, neck is neutral. In this version of triangle today, I want you guys to focus on feeling for pressing through the, the ball of your big toes. And that's on your front and your back foot. What that will do is help you connect to your inner leg lines it's often a place in this pose where we don't connect. Release for lounge, lunge, heel to butt. Put your back knee down. Like always, right hand is ahead of your shoulder. Bend in your right knee and with your left hand reach around, grab the top of your right foot. Inhale into your right side rib cage. As you exhale, let your right ribs hang towards your right arm. The same time, anchor down through your inner left foot, like inside that whole inner leg line. Now go to the place in this pose that you feel this the most. And keep all of your attention there.
release. Step back plank. Lower exhale. Cobra, inhale. Use your butt more. Down dog, exhale. Triangle, inhale, right foot forward. Again, heel to heel alignment. Right hand on your right shin, left arm straight up. When I say neck in neutral, I mean place your neck somewhere that is not asking you to create tension in your body. And then feel again for, for the feeling through the, the balls of your big toes. Release, lounge, lunge, heel to butt. Take your left hand ahead of your left shoulder, so not directly underneath. Right hand reaches behind, grab the top of your left foot. Inhale through your left rib cage. Exhale, hang your left ribs towards your left arm. Continue to draw your, your what is it? My left heel in towards your butt. Particularly if you've been sitting, this one will be a really spicy one for you today. And again, just go to the place where you're feeling the intensity and actually use your breath to thin out that, that intensity. Like spread it through your body. Release, step back plank. Lower, exhale. Come to Cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Pop your knees down. So you have down dog on the wall, ankle across your thigh. If you're not sure, you're welcome to watch. Otherwise, you can do any other version, like down dog on the wall, like the previous version, or working into like a half version, with maybe even like one leg on the wall and one on the floor. Emergence happens from a down dog position. Hands are shoulder, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Heels are on the base budge. Take an inhale, lift your knees, step onto the wall as you exhale. Your left ankle then comes across the top of your right thigh. And as you inhale, push your left ankle into your right thigh to lift up. So again, we go back to that space of feeling really light. Join me now if you're watching. Changing sides. And then release. Come into downward facing dog. Twisting warrior. Inhale, step your left foot forward for warrior one legs. 
If it's better for your back to pick your back heel up, you may do that also. Inhale your right arm straight up. Twist as you exhale. So remember there's always the option to lower your back knee down here underneath your hip. Whichever version you're in, letting your right ear rest down towards right shoulder. Release for pigeon, left knee bends. Reach your right leg back. Come forward as you exhale. You don't have to come all the way if that's not there for you tonight. You can stay up on your forearms or a block. What I'm more interested in is what you can feel in this pause in this moment. Release, step back to plank, lower as you exhale, cobra, inhale, huge breath, should feel really open now, hopefully, down dog, exhale. Twisting warrior, inhale right foot forward. So same thing guys, if it's better for your back, pop your back heel up. If you need to down level, put your back knee down. Inhale, left arm straight up. Exhale to twist, you've got a little fist with your left hand. Right hand goes on top. Allow your left ear to rest towards left shoulder. And whatever position your back leg is in, just for this pause, focus on feeling your back leg. And get really meticulous about what that means. Release, pigeon. Forward fold. Again, just feeling for the space your breath has now to reach into the deeper parts of your being. Using that to anchor into the moment that is here right now. Release. Step back to down dog only. Ekka Pada Bakasana on the wall. So I will show you if you want to watch and then join me as you see me demonstrating. Or 
If there's another wall pause that you just really want to do tonight, you're welcome to. Any of the previous wall pauses are also options. If you're working with me, Eka Padabakasana on the wall, you set up for a down dog on the wall, but rather than having your, yourself kind of parallel to the floor, take your legs further up the wall, like you did when you first did this pause as a brand new forest yoga beginner. Hands a little bit wider than shoulder width. Okay, take an inhale. Exhale, lower your left knee towards your left elbow. Take it back, inhale. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Bend your elbows a little like turbo dog. Do a few more. Keep breathing deeply. And then release. Stand up, my loves. Come into a standing forward bend with neck traction. So your feet are about hip width, maybe a little bit wider if you want to. Fall forward completely. And then interlace your fingers and bring your hands to the place where your neck and your skull bones meet. So you are not reaching the crown of your head down, that actually pokes forward a little bit. You're actually just allowing the weight of, of your elbows to rest down. And you're developing the, the very advanced skill of letting go. So there's not, not too much effort here. And then release, sit down, take your legs into a seated straddle. Remember you can always sit on something here if, if that helps. You can also um, bend your knees a little bit. Inhale your left arm straight up, reach, reach. Bring your left hand inside or outside your left leg and take your right arm over. So just remember guys in these pauses that we're not collapsing and trying to get to any type of um, gymnastic type posture. If you can do gymnastics, great. For most of us, that's not the case. What's more important is that you can relax in the shape and there is minimal effort at this stage. And then use your right arm, keep your neck relaxed, but bring your body all the way up. And then use your left hand to actually help your head up. That helps to keep your neck relaxed. Change sides. Inhale, right arm straight up. Reach inside or outside your right leg and then exhale, left arm over. Right ear, rest to right shoulder. And in this side, 
I would like you to feel your sit bones plugging down. So you're in contact with the earth in a much deeper way. Using your left arm again, bring your body up, keep your neck relaxed all the way up and then use your right hand to ease your head up. Folding through the centre, so you may stay upright like this, that's enough. Hands are on the floor. If there's space, come in a little further forward. And just again being mindful that this is a yam practice so we're active through our legs particularly focusing around spreading through your feet bones your legs together mm. and lay back my loves for Shavasana final rest so take up space as always You want to take legs up the wall, you may. And then there's one thing I want you to feel in this resting place today. That is the complete commitment to letting go.
change of energy is occurring for you. Transition to one side, easy, easy. And easing on up to sitting, bring your hands to rest, easy at your heart. Now we take that intention into the rest of our evening. So it's like, how do we now continue to focus on one thing at a time. Namaste.